Good morning, everybody. I'm Kaylee. And this your boy, Rocco. And we are Duo You Wonder. You already know, player. This week on Duo You Wonder, we're taking you on a viewer request video from Aaron Fossa. Hell yeah. We're going to take you on a typical day of eating here in Costa Rica. Hey, man, you ain't got to ask me to do a video about eating here in Costa Rica, man. That's what I love to do, player, player. I'm ready. Yeah, so today we're going to take you and show you all the traditional Costa Rican food. Gallo pinto, casados, amongst other things. So let's go eat. Let's go. This morning, we decided to start our typical day of eating here in Costa Rica at Soda Guaymi here in Wapas. Hope you guys brought your appetites. Let's get some breakfast. So I'm gonna try a different kind of juice here today that I've never tried before. This is cas juice, jugo de cas. So I've never had this before, but she gave me a little shot of it to try. Let's see. Ah, very, very good. It almost reminds me of lemonade. Very refreshing, pretty tasty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a glass of this. They just brought us our food. This is the traditional Costa Rican breakfast. Here we have gallo pinto, which is basically just rice and beans, yeah. sweet plantains, yeah. cheese, and yeah. sour cream. Hey man, <laughs> this is the traditional Costa Rican breakfast, and we do eat this a lot because it's cheap, you know what I mean? And you get a lot of food. We don't eat out a lot, but when we do, we try to go for the best bargain, man. We ain't rich. Yep, and they also had other options too. You can get bacon, eggs, and chicken. So let's dig in. Bang! The gallo pinto totally meets expectations. Absolutely delicious. Can't beat this. Cheers! up our typical Costa Rican breakfast here at Soda La Guaymi. It was absolutely delicious and we only paid 6,500 colonas for that which is only about $10. Hey man you can't beat it. I'm full as a bull and like always it was banging. <laughs> <laughs> but we full and we gonna see y'all at lunch man. Peace. Okay, so we just pulled up to Soda La Ruta de Bonanza here in Huacas. We are about to have some lunch here and show you what a typical Costa Rican lunch looks like. It smells amazing here and the staff is super friendly. As you guys already know, casados are our favorite meal because you get so much for not a lot of money, man. And as you already know, we on the damn budget down here, so casados are our favorite. All right, let's try the chicken and salsa. The chicken is so tender. It's like falling off the bone. The juice is amazing. It's mixing with the rice and the salad is so fresh. Mm. Hey man, we finna sit here and finish our late lunch. Y'all sit here and check out the ambiance of Wackers. This is delicious. La Ruta de 
Bonanza. The food was pretty good and we paid about 8,000 colonas for the meal. A little expensive for Casados. That's about, I don't know, $14. Yeah, that shit expensive as hell. Casados <laughs> don't usually cost that much. But it's all good, man. We just wanted y'all to see a typical lunch here in Costa Rica, and it don't get no more typical than that. Minus the beans, of course. <laughs> a few other dishes you can get for lunch here in Costa Rica are arroz con pollo. Maybe you could get some fried fish or some ceviche. It's your choice, man. It don't matter. You can't lose. Okay, so now we finna go to the fruit stand, show you around there, and pick up a few empanadas for dinner, man. Let's go. We really wanted to show you the fruit stand because it's such a huge part of the culture here in Costa Rica, and we love shopping at these, so let's go check it out. All right, let's go check out the fruit stand. As you can see, they have fresh plantains, bananas. They basically have all the fruits and vegetables that you could ever want. I'm actually in here hunting for some kale today. So let's go try to find some kale. Try to find, I know exactly where the kale is in this fruit stand. Look at all of this yummy kale they have. We love coming to places like this because you can get all the freshest fruits and vegetables and this is a huge part of Costa Rican culture so we felt it was worth showing you. You can even find fresh flowers at local fruit stands. Probably one of my favorite places. Okay so we're about to check out but I really couldn't leave this fruit stand until I showed you one of my favorite things here in Costa Rica. These are Peje Valles. Uh, I hadn't had these before I moved to Costa Rica, but they are amazing when you eat them with sour cream. All right, so we just left the fruit stand and now we're about to hit the empanada stand up to get our dinner. So let's go get some yummy empanadas, another traditional Costa Rican food. Que es eso? Los famosos palitos de queso. Palitos de queso. De queso. Relleno de queso. De queso. Sí. Uh, ¿Qué tipo de empanadas tienen hoy? También estas son de frijol con okay. queso. Sí. Ok, los famosos palitos. Estas son eh, pinto con chicharrón. Mm -hmm. Estas son jamón queso. Estas son arroz mixto. Arroz mixto. Con carne, cocineta y jamón. Oh, ah. ¿Y tiene arroz con pollo? No hoy. No hoy. Okay, ¿qué es eso otra vez? No me acuerdo el nombre. Palito de queso. Palito, palito de queso. Okay, so hoy, uh, today I'm going to try a palito de queso, which is just a cheese palito. It's like a cheese wrap. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try one of those, and then I think we're going to get some bean and cheese empanadas for dinner. So we ended up getting four of the cheese roll-ups and we didn't get any empanadas at all because they just look so delicious. And we're only paying 3,000 colonas for this. That's about five bucks. Cannot beat it. Yep. Muchas gracias. Pura vida. Pura vida. Gracias, amigo. Muchas gracias, Mike. Hey, man, do you see why we love Costa Rica so much? You hear the music blasting in the background. The homie at the empanada stand named Kevin nice as hell the people in the fruit stand nice as hell hey man this is a beautiful thing man we love costa rica we love the people we love the culture we ain't going nowhere never going home <laughs> so we just showed you a typical day of eating here in costa rica man we can't show you what rich folk eat like we can only show you what people on the budget such as ourselves eat like but good food for good prices. I don't care where you at in the world, you can't beat that. Also, the same viewer who requested this video also requested a little bit of information about our ride. So here in Costa Rica, we ride a Honda Navi scooter. It's a 2021 model and we only paid $2,000 for the scooter and it includes helmets. Yep. Hey man, we are a little bit limited in the places we can go and the things we can do because the scooter, hey, it's only gonna take you so far. <laughs> But we wouldn't have it any other way, man. We'd be darting in out of traffic <laughs> like, like Michael Knight. We don't care. 
But uh, like I said, it's a little bit limiting, but we wouldn't have it no other way, man. We dig the scooter. Absolutely love it. Yep. Other than that, that's about a wrap for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it. Hell yeah, and don't forget, man, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Tell us what you want to see from us in the future, man. That's what we do here at Duo. Other than that, we'll see y'all next week, player. Peace. Pura vida.